are you a celebrity? I'm a certain kind of celebrity. It, like, it's like Christians in the catacombs. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> like our, in film and television, there's a kind of, because we don't have a star system here, but there are well-known people to our, uh, our audience. And so, whereas Paul Newman, if he were still alive, were stop, he'd be stopped continually. Or, uh, well, the Toronto Film Festival is a perfect example of that right. site. You know, where these people can't go anywhere. I can go everywhere. And I may get stopped twice a week. And if there's been something on television, maybe three or four or five times a week. Maybe during the course of the day. And I have a lot of people now that come up and say, we really love your work. And we've, I've been watching you for years. Now, I don't have... So this is this a, a kind of celebrity we can call Canadian? that doesn't have the kind of royal touch to it, that doesn't have royalty, right? Like Brad Pitt and all the rest of them are like royalty, they're like the aristocrats or whatever, they come in and we all want to gather around the limo. But the kind of celebrity you're talking about... But it's not Canadian about, in the sense that you're, I think that you're saying that this is a characteristic of Canadians. No, but... I'm just saying it sh points out the absence of the infrastructure necessary for a star system. Do you want to be like Brad Pitt in America, in Canadian, in Canada, and have everyone go up and go, oh my God, Eric, Eric, Eric's here. Absolutely. <laughs> but I mean, I, because that would be indicative, I guess, right. of a, a more intense um, television thing here. Because, like, for example, you can look in Quebec, where people do that to their own stars, and they don't shoot them. But and the they celebrity don't... that you're talking about, that I'm quietly cheering about inside, is the celebrity of engaging Canadians in owning, knowing, sharing, and being part of the stories of their country. And you have been the catalyst for this, and that's a Canadian celebrity for me. It's got nothing to do with your ego or your paycheck or you know whether you have four, five houses around the world, no. whether you have a private jet. No. That's that kind of celebrity that maybe, like you've created a collective, you're part of the generation that created that, Canadian, Canadian stories, you've also created a Canadian version of celebrity that has its own particular palette, so to speak. Well, I only say it's its own particular palette or agree with you because Celebrity doesn't, like heroism, isn't actually something about what it says it is. It's not, like celebrity isn't about talent, and so, and nor is heroism about bravery. Both of them, in a way, have to be constructed, and they both require an infrastructure to do it. They require newspapers, they require magazines, they require talk shows. Now, the Americans have a huge investment in the star system. That's why the stars get paid so much. And there's a lot of money, and it's a huge infrastructure. World dominating, you might say. In Quebec, it would be a more Canadian model. That is, it's, it's got an economic, because that's the only reason you have it, is the, eco the economy of it. You know, Roy Dupuis is in this movie. People will come and see it. So Roy gets paid more. And, and, but also because they have a need to define themselves so we have the same thing. We simply, but in, where in Quebec, they'd be recognized going down the street much more than I am in Toronto. But I'm still, in, given the fact that we don't have any infrastructure for it anymore, They're like our newspapers don't report on it, uh, nothing reports on it. Well, you know, it's only in blogs now that any of this information about Canadian, you know, or... You know, sometimes I watch Radio Canada television at night to see the Toronto cultural news. I told that to a CBC the other day. I said, you know what, I go to Radio Canada at night, 11.30 at night, and that's when I see some culture, because they have That's a, a very cheering thought. Thank you, thank you for sharing. He's a very nice that. guy, uh, his rice is his name, and he comes <laughs> and does the theater. So. <laughs> you got a match? Somebody got a match? <laughs> Anybody got any gasoline around here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's appalling. It's like really, I mean, again, I think we're very in a very, very awful position officially. But that doesn't mean that people don't actually stop me. And it's very lovely. Because I, I think you, you, have, you and your, the, your ilk have created this different kind of celebrity, and that's the kind that I cheer. And, you know, this, and, is also, but but this is also based on people that have sought out this catachromal cultural expression. They've gone to the plays. They do watch the Canadian television. They are not honored in any way by, you know, uh, because they're, and they're totally drowned out by this other aspect of being Canadian, which has to do with their star system and our absolutely orgasmic pleasure when a Canadian like 
Bill Shatner, goes and makes it and stays in America. And we take, but again, it's a total expression of our colonial mindset. It's not, it's, it's not about us, other than it's a very telling fabric or expression of who we are at this point.